Board what else? Games. Board games. Uh, my family is really into board games, but they get uh, too competitive a little bit. Oh. Were you a Monopoly kid growing up? What was your board game of choice growing up? Nah, see, I grew up with immigrant parents. You played cards and dominoes. Those were our board <laughs> games, for real. My dad would just be like, you know how to play dominoes? You're like, I'm six. Play the domino! Three, three, five, five. What do you want? Like, I like that bear. <laughs> yeah, but you only like it for a little bit. I went by your hotel room, and I think you were jerking off in the shower when I walked by. What are you talking about? I'm done after that. <laughs> stop eating the jerky. It's so good. I know it's so good, but we gotta we gotta stop. And you're sweating. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Am I? Yeah. You're like on another plane. I love this. Yeah, I know. I it's closed... my favorite beef jerky. I know. Shout out to Kazo, man. Cuzzo, we love the beef jerky, man. I'm still working on mine. Steve ate all of his immediately, but uh, I'm sharing the one that you gave me now with Steve because he loves it so much and I love it so much. But I couldn't eat it that fast. Steve like ate it so fast. I laid down with it like just. You laid down with your jerky? I laid down with it and just like, eat, watching YouTube videos. Yeah. You jerk it while you jerky? You're sharp. Um, welcome guys to back uh, again to a uh, Sizzle Bros. Hope you are enjoying Houston edition. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Houston edition. We are obviously we're in LA right now, but we're gonna talk about our live show that we did in Houston and uh, kind of the lead up to that and everything, and then we're gonna throw it to um the uh, the challenge that we did in Houston because it was. That was, was one of the funner one. ones. It was a good one. A there, lot of well, engagement. We, a lot of thought went into that. Shout we'll out get, to the Reverend. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll get into all yeah, that we'll later. Get into it, yeah. Um, but yeah, Ooh. how you doing? How, how's the heat it's level? Really hot. It was some hot jerky, right? This Did you the have blue. the chewy bar? No, but I, I don't want to eat it, to cool on it the off. Mic. Right now, just eat off mic. Okay. Um. Yeah, I I enjoyed Houston. I enjoyed it. Um. Can we start with? The way we started that trip, uh, I was meeting you at the LAX, and you s- said you couldn't talk. Like, and I saw you outside of Chick Fil A, and the you- panic on your face when I said I that concerned. I had lost I my voice. The go- panic was, I okay. So I I told Steve, I texted him. I go, I lost my voice, and I had to write on the notes app on my phone different things Mm -hmm. like hey do you want anything from chick-fil-a i'm getting stuff he's like no i'm good um you stole a bunch of napkins from starbucks or coffee bean like so many a fat wad frugal bro style really pocketing really pocketing a lot of napkins they have the best napkins what coffee bean starbucks oh oh yeah i i came up i must have I took all. I took so many napkins, um, and I was panicking because I'm like, "You lost your voice," and I I was panicking because like, well, we have a live. We have to do an hour of live podcasting, and um, there was fear. In my scissor brother's eyes Cause I thought you lost your voice Cause I actually did Panic mode, panic mode Panic mode, panic mode Panic mode, panic mode when he saw me and he saw that I couldn't talk At the bottom of his stomach he felt a giant rock 
Hispanic mode when you hit the road and your partner doesn't have a voice and your whole job is to use your voice and then to entertain people at the Riot Comedy Festival. We didn't know what we were gonna do, what we were gonna do, what we, we were gonna, gonna do, what we were gonna do, and you what we were gonna said do. make the call. So I went to Starbucks and purchased a medicine ball, and you liked it a lot because it coated your throat. Sometimes you gotta cut your throw from a friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like the lemon and the herbal tea, and it made you feel better, and it made me it feel good. It was a good. beautiful combination. A beautiful combination. Shout out to BB's Barbecue and their Po Boys. I didn't know that you could put shrimp inside a sandwich. I feel like you've been putting your shrimp inside of sandwiches for years. I got a shrimp for you to put inside your sandwich and your Panera bread with the crack right in the middle. The shrimp will fit perfectly inside in between the crack of the bread. Steve wants to put his shrimp inside my white, white, white bread bowl. And it fit perfectly near the hole inside the bread. And I know it's pink too. And it'll insert inside the hole. Like a hand inside a mitten. I could be a little kitten. <laughs> Panic more, panic mode. Panic more, panic mode. Panic more, panic mode. To bust a load, bust a load. And bring Stevie's far corner back. That's my real panic mode. Stevie's far corner back. Bring it back, bring it back. Never back, bring it back. That put me in more of a panic mode. In the panic mode. Excuse me. Panic mode. Yo, that was a fresh 80s tune, man. Yeah. Panic mode. How good was BB's barbecue, though? Ooh, fantastic. And, and did I stand fantastic. by my word? You stood by the words. If you recall in the Dr. Phil episode, uh, we forgot to put in the, the footage last week. He um, paid his debt. Of uh, after the friendship test, uh, I won it barely. And shout out Steve, to Caleb. Shout out to Caleb. Uh, Steve owed me a, a a dinner, a friendship dinner, and he bought me and a couple of scissor siblings from the live show that came out. Caleb and his wife. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you guys. Oh yeah, our Filipino sisters and brothers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, um and uh, we got some great, great food there. Oh, dude, gumbo, po' gumbo. boy. Do you think that would be a good movie, like, instead of Rambo, if there was, like, a, a Cajun guy named Gumbo, and, and like... <laughs> I like where you're going. Go ahead. Keep going with it. And he, like, fought, it, like, it's just, like, Bubba from from oh. Bubba Gump's Shrimp. Oh, I love Bubba from uh, from uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. 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 So, I love it. I love that character. Yeah, it's like Gumbo. He's, like, with, with a knife, and he's just naming all the different kind of shrimps. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... How do you categorize that? Categorize that food? It's Cajun, Texan, Cajun. Yeah. Food. Yep. And that's a big thing out there. No, I think that that's just BB's that restaurant that we eat at. Oh, BB's. should we show the clip? Yeah, you got a clip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steve just paid his debt. I did pay my debt, and I gave her. She was happy about the tip, huh? Yeah. He... Over twenty percent. So tell us the bill. It's seventy nine ninety nine. Uh huh. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. frugal. Ooh, that's Ooh, hitting my frugal kids. nerves. <laughs> he fed five people yeah. for a hundred dollars and some change. Yeah, he still got out pretty good frugal bro style. <laughs> hey, really? But, Thank hey, you though. But yeah, it was amazing. We love y'all. Love y'all. Yeah. Panic mode. Oh, panic, panic mode. mode. Oh, oh. Panic mode, panic mode. When you hit the road, we had the po boy with shrimp and shredded beef inside it. My shrimp inside your bread. 
Panic mode. <laughs> okay. Um, the Uber driver didn't like me that much, though, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, Ryan! It's your fault. It you is, told me is, to vlog. You're I like Steve, 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 Steve. You should vlog inside the he's car. Never been, okay, so Ryan, he's Dude, never been he to Houston me. before, and I was like, "Well, you you've been doing all your vlogs, which." Check out Steve's vlogs that he does on his channel. They're really YouTube entertaining. YouTube.com slash really Steve Weeby. I, I've been having fun vlogging, so check it out. And then this new one, I have a Scissor Bros in Houston vlog. Oh, nice. I'm going to probably drop this week. Oh, nice. While this is all dropping. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I told Steve in the car to vlog, and Steve's like, there's there's music playing. There's copyrighted music playing on the yeah, radio. Yeah, because you know why I say that. Because, I know. Yeah. Well, I know why you said it. So, dude, Ryan. I tell Steve, I go, it's not a big deal. Like, you can just ask him to lower the music, like, to turn it off for a little bit. I was like, it's not a big deal. Uber drivers won't care. He's like, hey, buddy, I don't, I don't, I don't turn it down. You, you know, it's so like, Steve's approach uh, was this. He goes to tell him I don't know the why reason explained. why. He explained why he needed it down. I don't know why I did that. He that goes, was so stupid listen, of me. Um, oh, I'm such an idiot. He goes, I'm listen, such an idiot. He goes, I'm so stupid. He goes, so it sounds why crazy. Why did I do that? He goes, um, why did I do that? You have copywritten music that's playing? I don't know why I explained it to some ra random Middle Eastern Uber driver. <laughs> goes, it, it, it rubbed him in such a bad way. He's like, could you lower your music because he's copyrighted in a... I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to vlog I have, right no, now. I'm like, I have a YouTube video. I have a YouTube channel. Like, there's and too, there's and too, too much information. Lie. Yeah, and he goes... And then it just rubbed... He's like, buddy. He was so mad. He hated me. Yeah. It made it so awkward. Yeah. Buddy, you know, I turned the music in. I think, hey, I, buddy, got, buddy. I think I got a low rating because of that. What? Well, you were on my account. I am so sorry. <laughs> really? I mean, probably. Yeah. Um. God, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Um. You know what I noticed? I mean, panning mode, panning, panning mode. My shrimp inside your bread. <laughs> my shrimp inside your bread. Keeps going back to that. My I'm shrimp inside shrimp. your bread hole. Oh. Panic mode. You know what I noticed? What? Um, it's it reminded me of like Missouri. It was like even in the hotel, it was mostly I didn't see a lot of diversity, especially just at our hotel. It's like mostly either black or white. Even though Houston is one of the most diverse cities yeah, in the I'm country. Yeah, I'm talking about our hotel. Yeah. It was mostly just black people or white people. Right, it, right, right. It was just something. It, it reminded me of Missouri a little. Where you do you feel like it was kind I, of I felt a little bit like what? Lacking. White and black. Black and white. Yeah. Yeah. It was lacking a little bit of that. A little, di a little bit, yeah. What do you? Okay, color wise. <laughs> yeah. Color wise. I need my you Hispanics. Just, uh, I mean, I need my Latinos. You can't eat any more of that. What do you mean? I'm, Put it down. I just need one. No, piece. no, no. You can't eat. It's a whole thing. We're done. We're Can done. Can I bring now. a couple home though? Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't mind? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna let you take that back home. You really? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Because it's so hot, huh? No, I. That's my favorite. Oh. Hot's my favorite. But you're letting me take it home? I love you. You you, you love jerky that much. You should have that. I, 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 I cherish it. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to have it. But your scenario as far as diversity, go ahead. Oh, okay. You just mentioned white and black. It was just mostly what black and white. What color would you consider Korean? Yellow. You heard it here, folks. I just that, wanted no, to... I'm just saying that's what other outside of Asians, they but say. But do you think... And Native Americans are red. But Red, is yellow, that technically, brown. Are we allowed Hispanics, to say that? Brown. What do you mean? Brown we? and down. Whoa! Latino. You're brown and down. Fool. Yeah, we are. You're brown and down. So you guys. So You're Steve, brown. That's okay. That's the thing. I think I get in trouble as a white guy if I were to call you yellow. I think I get in trouble. I'm just going what other outside races say about Asians. They Ryan, say do yellow. you agree with that? If a if a white guy calls an Asian person yellow, then it's no go anymore, right? I mean, for some people, yeah, but. Who cares? That's why he's our producer. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? That's why he's our producer, Steve. Yeah. That you who do, cares energy. You don't notice that though, huh? You're probably what? used to that. I don't know. Is it from you being from Kansas? Like it's mostly black and white there or? No, I mean, I had, uh, I mean, we talked about it briefly one time, but like I had pretty diverse friend group going up. Yeah, but, but you had one Asian friend you mentioned even on Dumbfounded's podcast. Yeah. Yeah. But then there was but Latinos. Had, but had, there's Latinos? Yeah. 
Okay, so you had Latino friends. So it was, yeah, I had a black yeah. friend. I had yeah. a half Italian, half Middle Eastern friend. Yeah. yeah. So it was okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just something I'm, I'm not judge, but putting it's judgment very, no, no. on it. It's very white in Kansas, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I think I'm naturally drawn to not to, to having many different kinds of friends, friends rather than just yeah, just one. Yeah. But were there peer groups where it was just all like you knew people with just all white friends? Oh, yeah. There were. Yeah. No, no. There was like the football team was almost all white. There's not one token Asian well, there was or black. black or there wasn't Hispanic. any Asian guys on the football team. I'll tell you that much. None? None. None. Where were they? Track and field? Uh, or no band. They were in band. Yeah. <laughs> they were in band. Yeah. They were in band. Yeah, they were in band. Yeah. Yeah. So what other sports did you not see Asians or a lot of the other races? Well, I mean, there wasn't tons of Asian kids at my school in general. There was like a table. There was a whole Asian table of like three people? I think so. Oh my God. <laughs> Kansas is 3% Asian. Yeah. Oh my God. And 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 I don't even know if you looked even, you know. He would be considered it, it, Asian. It, if you look 16 years ago, oh, I You mean, would be Asian. Huh? He would be a part of the Asian table, wouldn't he? What? Look, in Kansas, if back in the day... Oh, that's 12% Hispanic. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, there's 12% Hispanics in Kansas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. There's some um, good Mexican food spots in Kansas oh, City. Oh, I'm sure. There's some good I'm spots. I'm sure. They got good carne asada? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You Shout got out to. to Manny's. That's my favorite Mexican restaurant in downtown Kansas City. They got some bomb, bomb, some dishes. They've got, well, they've also got some bomb queso, too. Oh, they got some queso. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so the Chipotle queso ain't real queso. No. Because, you know, you could buy tortilla chips there now with queso, and it's like, like a Chipo dipping sauce. I don't like Chipotle's queso. Ooh. The queso that we got at BB's, though, that was fire. In Houston? Oh, ooh. that was real. That was real. That's real queso. Yeah. Damn, you're making me hungry for that po' boy. Oh, I know. A po' boy for a po' boy. No, but we're we're making some money now. No, we're not that poor. Panic mode, no, panic, panic mode. mode. My shrimp inside your butthole. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? The shrimp? Yeah. The shrimp inside the po' boy. Oh. Um. What? what? Oh. Your voice oh, started dude. coming back after I got you the medicine ball. Well, I just sleep the rest of the day. We had five hours because I timed it. It was crunch time, dude. It so, was, yeah. Because I got to go back to my room. I had my. That's the first time I had my own hotel room. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I jerked off so good in there. I jerked off so good in there after the shows. Oh, dude. Well, you're usually not able to do that with me in the room. No, I went completely naked on top of the, the sheets. I was spread eagle. I was just... Dude, I used our lotion, dude. They had some good lotion in the room. I was just like... I didn't even have headphones. I just watched something just playing out. In the, because no one... You're not, we weren't there. Yeah. And then I just put a towel like right here on my tummy and it just went... And it just went... It just squirted all over my tummy. Panic mode, panic mode, uh, jerking off inside my room. Uh, all by myself, I had my own hotel. I'm so glad I was alone. There. And by alone, I had my friend Chris, Chris as my roommate. I've always loved Chris. Chris has seen me naked, too. Um, so... Let's talk about the venue and how proud I was to see you on the building, man. Your your billboard. Oh, on the billboard. Man, boy, did that come on, dude. That was a big deal. It was a cool moment. How does sure. that make you feel? I want to know. How does that make you feel being on the main at the festival? You're the the main image. It was kind of bizarre because the security, they had never seen my comedy before, but they saw the sign. They're like, can I have a picture? I was like, sure. I mean, that was a cool little fe that was a cool festival. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Did they like us? Yeah. What yeah. would what was your overall thoughts on the the live show that we did? 
I thought it was really good for especially like I told you before it was we went on. I was like, I need, need you tonight. You to be present. I need you to be present, attentive, and listen. That's key because there was my voice was going. And right even right now, my voice is starting to go. And again didn't, from, didn't I provide that for you? I was there with you're you. You're great. I was there with you. Yeah. One moment that and this was why, you know, I, you need a lot more respect as your comedy chops as far as I didn't even recognize that we were getting heckled. <laughs> I thought she was a part of like a part of our team. <laughs> we're going to put that at <laughs> patreon.com slash scissor bros. Uh, we had a heckler experience. Yeah. That, let's talk about it. I mean, we could talk about it. We can talk about it. Yeah. I, like she, you, you'll, you'll get the context of this lady came in late to scissor bros, had no idea what the show was going on. She had no probably idea what was that happening. We were a live podcast. Probably didn't realize that people were there specifically to see the show. Yeah. She literally just came in and like start real negative energy. Try, try, commenting. I know what it was because we discussed how member at the um the terminal at the airport I skipped the line. Oh yeah. Because I was in like group nine or I was in the Steve, the end group. Steve didn't check in and he had like literally check in on Southwest, which is open seating. It's he open had seating. C forty or something like I that. I had the worst group. Oh. And then you you proposed an idea like you could try to come on with my group. Yeah. And I did. Because we talked about it yeah, yeah. on stage yeah. at our live show. Yeah. And he, the lady goes, you know what we call that? Slime. Yeah, she called us slime. She called us slime. That's classic heckling right there. Yeah. You slime. We call that slime. Yeah. And the way you took control, brother, you took control of the boat, man. You You paused. You acknowledge what was happening. I was proud of you, man. I'm like, wow, that's how you do it, huh? You were like, you were like, no, this is unacceptable. You, this is what's happening. You came up here. You interrupted the positivity, uh, the positivity on stage. You you definitely acknowledged it and took care of business, brother. I commend you for that. That batting really mode, batting mode. mode. My brother Jeremiah took control. Of the Scissor Bro Show, and dealt with the heckler who had a negative eye. We don't like the negativity. Only positivity. We don't like the negativity. She was calling us names. We don't like to be called slime. Slime, slime. She called us slime. We consider it a crime. Slime, slime, slime is no crime. Um, dude, good job. Thanks, buddy. Now I noticed too. Uh, Did you sleep before your flight? Because we, wait, wait. your flight was so early. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't sleep at all. I went by your hotel room, and I think you were jerking off in the shower when I walked by. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I wasn't, dude. I'm pretty sure you were. I was in. I I answered the door in my my underwear. No, no, no. At first, but then I forgot to give you something. So I came back. No, about no, no, no. I left my shirt, later. and I go, "Can you grab that tan shirt?" I left at the in the green room. I know this is after that. This is after I had delivered everything. Fifteen minutes after I delivered everything, I heard the water running in the shower because I knocked on the door, and then I knocked again. I think you were going to Pound Town with yourself in the shower. I can't just be. I couldn't have just been taking a normal shower. Not knowing you. I didn't jerk off in the shower. Okay, so you waited till you went to your bed? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't do that in the shower. You don't do it in the shower? I shampoo, I condition, I body wash. You never do it in the shower? No. That used to be my favorite spot. Of course it was. Why? Because it's, it's something psychological with religion and being cleanseful. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> you, the only place you're alone sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in your household. You don't want it. Yeah. Mm, now the and shower baiter has entered the chat. When I was Ryan, young. Ryan. Yeah, when I was young. Sure. I would pay $100 to watch you masturbate. I mean, all right. Why? To completion. It would just be interesting for me. Why would it be interesting? I just, because I just would like to see it. You're in the same room or? Yeah, I'm in the same room. Mm. Would you Would you be open to that? Yes. A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. But you would have to, would you be able to do it to completion? What are you wearing? 
just my regular clothes. What, what are you what, wearing? What are you that talking? Has Wait, hold up, to hold do up. With no. What is going Wait on? Wait a minute. What's going on with Why him now? would that have anything is to do with this? Is he entering that realm? I don't know what's going on right now. Are you entering we're the, the GAY switch, realm? Steve. We're, 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 jo- we're joining the, the gay realm. Are you joining it? Are Whoa. you a part of it now? Is he a part taking part in it? Yeah, it's it's on or off, right? So we're, right now we're on. So what are you wearing in this scenario? Do you want, what do you want me to be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that ended it right there, dead in its tracks. Why? I uh, because he doesn't uh, expand on it, elaborate, expand. You remember those swimsuits you guys had? Oh, you do like my chunky ass, don't you? Hey, Jesse you left that fuck. up. She left that photo up forever. <laughs> I told her, why? That wasn't a punishment. She left it up forever. I needed. We need to tell her to take it down. <laughs> I mean, the damage has been done, my friend. Ah, it doesn't matter. But my ass crack is showing. They didn't flag it. No. But do you do my ass crack is showing on there? You know that, right? Yeah. After the fact, I saw. Damn. I thought she was going to take it down. I thought so, too. Shame on you, Jess. Take it down, please. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I mean, that was... I mean, how many shows did you do on top of that? Like, because you were going to do a midnight show, bro. Oh, after the Thank podcast, goodness, they canceled you're that panicking. show. You're panicking. You're like, I oh yeah. To do well, because I was like, oh, my voice is already gone. And that dude, the hardest show of the weekend I did I had to headline a show in the at other room. Two thirty p.m. What? Two thirty p.m. I headlined a show. How? In, on on Sunday. You did your stand up at two thirty p.m. <sighs> it's one of the hardest shows I've had to do in so long, dude. People sh- were there to show up at two in the afternoon. Yeah, because it was an all, you know, weekend event comedy. How festival. did you get up for that? Because comedy is normally, typically, a nighttime. Oh, activity. it's a nighttime sport for sure. It's a nighttime activity. Yeah. So you're like, okay, two here we go. Oh, dude, I just, I was like, last one of the weekend, let's do this. We did some crowd work. You're kind of, you had to have. I did a little bit, but you they were they were not into me. Really. <laughs> But you're yeah. the you're the face of the whole festival. They don't care. They weren't into it. They were just like like I could I was tr- having trouble connecting with them. It was two thirty p.m., dude. It was just like did what I could. Oh my! How long did you do? I did like thirty. Oh my god! I know. Nightmare. <laughs> did, was, were there other acts, or was it just there's some other acts? Okay, tell me about how many other shows to- comp- total did you do? I did a couple others. On Saturday, I did Stand Up on the Spot. We shot a Stand Up on the Spot Oh, you there. did? How was that? That was fun. It was great. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was super Same fun. room? That was in the tent outside. The t- okay. Yeah. And then how many other shows? Like one or two other shows. Oh, my God. Yeah. And so what was your overall? I mean, that was a positive. I love the festival. It was positive, loved right? It. Yeah. It was great. I got to see some friends I hadn't seen in a long time. And Your Texan cool. connection? Uh, no, there's a lot of L.A. New York comics that were there. Oh, too. that came out. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was weird that they, they had the competition that that night that right before we did our thing. Oh yeah, yeah. That was kind of weird. Comedy competition. Yeah. yeah. Well, which so now you've been to Austin and Houston. We need to get you out to like Dallas or Fort Worth, mm. and then we we can compare to see what you like the most. I gotta be honest. I like Austin over Houston. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I do. I don't even know geography wise where Houston was, but they kept talking about this, the, uh, this water around. The water? They said because well, they catch the Cajun stuff, the shrimps and stuff near that land. I mean, the water mass near there. Oh, really? Near the coastline or something like that, right? It's on one of the coasts, right? Or there's some kind of. I don't know. Okay, I don't. I mean, is I, it's I, that's I kept hearing it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah. For the most part, I had a, I had a you know that was that was a, that was a good experience. Do you watch Ted Lasso? No. You should. I don't watch any of the. I don't watch any of the TV shows or movies you watch, at all. But you oh, would, with the exception of The Boys. Yeah, but you would like Ted Lasso because it's all about soccer. Yeah, but I like English Premier. Is it from England in London? Yeah. All right, right, then I might check it out. But but what club? I I, I like. It's a made up club. It's a made up club. It's basically it's Crystal Palace. Yeah. Where they film it. Oh. 
No, but it's I don't like up. fictional. I like to see the real sport. I don't want anything fictional about my sport. I mean, it's one of the best shows on TV, but it's no. really good. Yeah. I'm okay. I'd rather watch the real English Premier League matches. Oh, yeah. you're purist, huh? I'm purist, yeah. I'm but you never pure. played. As a kid, I did. Oh, I was you on did? The, yeah, I was on a team called Gold Rush. Yeah, I was a winger. I was really? On, yeah, I was a winger. I was like a right winger. I don't think yeah. we talked about this. We talked about me playing soccer, but I don't think we talked no, about I was you a winger. playing soccer. Yeah, I was really? a, yeah, I remember the team name was Gold Rush. And we had the Norwich City, like yellow and green. That was our jersey. And then I was on the Hornets too, which was yellow and black. It was like more. Did you ever play anything outside wing? No, mostly I was the winger, right wing or left wing. I was forward. I wasn't defense or midfield. I was. I remember I was a winger, right wing or left wing. Yeah. Did you score? I think a few. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I... I wasn't the best, but I I was decent. Um, I you know if I could go back in a time machine, I it probably wouldn't have wrestled, and I would have just done all soccer. You know, really? Yeah. You liked soccer that much? Well, now I do. I'm like a huge fan of it. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize you were that big of a fan of soccer. I love it. I love it. So Arsenal FC. Wait, we should do a soccer challenge sometime then, like a goal, like a penalty kick challenge. That'd be fun, dude. Yeah, or you know what? What if we join a league? Oh, what if we have a Scissor Bros? We create a LA Unified Scissor Bros team where we could compete with maybe some other podcasts or something. I don't think there's enough podcasts that are that big of fans of soccer who'd be willing to join. But what if we join a league though, and then just created our own team, Scissor Bros siblings? I mean, we could we could create a Scissor Bros soccer team. That'd be fun. Don't you think that'd be fun? Would you rather do a, a, a soccer team or a hockey team? Oh, soccer. Soccer. I've never played hockey. I don't even know how to ice skate. I've never ice skated. Oh, that would be fun, though, if, yeah. we, if we could do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are some ideas. Some ideas. Yeah. So you went from Houston. You, you, you just... I drove to Austin after Houston. You drove there? Yeah. You rented a car? Yeah. And how long was that drive? Like two and a half hours. And then tell me about your Austin experience after that. Brothers! Hey, Steve. Hey, what? Hey, have you heard about this new thing called Patreon.com slash Scissor Bros? No, what's that? Well, they get a bonus exclusive episode that's dedicated just to them every single week for as little as $5 a month. A bonus episode? A bonus episode. What a great deal. How do they join? I don't know. I think you have it right here in your pocket. Patreon.com slash Scissor Bros. Join today. I think people are going to join from this, don't you? I think so, man. Woo! For how little? Got a couple dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> there you go, five dollars. How do you not know? Five dollars, <laughs> man. <laughs> I got a lot on my mind. Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> it was good. Um, yeah, I... Uh, visited uh, uh i stayed with my buddy uh brian redband while i was there oh shout and out then, to redband yeah 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 i stayed at so his place. a little reunion yeah it was good to good to see him i hadn't seen him in in quite a while and then i did some spots while i was in town and uh kind of check i checked out um uh rogan's new club um i was just I, thinking I judged, of joe rogan I, judged, I just i was thinking of him right I, now i judged a roast battle uh there, there? yeah yeah that okay and yeah. then is Rogan in Austin? Yeah, that's where he lives now. I mean, that would have been great. Can we put this out in the universe? I mean, what? Joe, um, Jeremiah just put out a new special he worked hard on called Daddy. If you will allow my scissor bro to hop on the JRE podcast. I thought you were going to ask for to do a scissor bros at the mothership. No, I was going to say if he could accept you to be a guest on the JRE so you could plug your... Uh, your special isn't that good isn't that a good thing to put out there i i guess so i mean how do we make that happen because you know he's close to red band i mean he just does it one, in character as your jordan person peterson what you, oh yeah that'd be fun go on as jordan peterson or yeah i have a lot of a lot of things to discuss no, I'm saying with go, you, going on as you to promote your right right yeah right. yeah you don't want to talk about this at all do you i mean it's just awkward i mean why how is it awkward we're talking about like 
quant like just I mean, I think it's I think it's awkward to just be on a podcast our own podcast and be like I'm putting it out there. I do it all the time. Person, I do it all the time. To be on this other person. I do it podcast. all the time. I do, do it all the time. I've done For it yourself? with Tom. I've done it with Tom. I go, hey Tom, if you're out there, we've done it with him to come here. I guess so. We do it all the time. No, we we, we invite, do it all the time. But we invite people to come on ours. We're not like Can it I would go be on real yours? Great to if you accepted me to come on your podcast. Okay, can I can I rephrase then? Yeah. Joe, if you're back if you're ever in LA, we would love you as a guest on Scissor Bros. We do a fear factor throwback. We could do a fear factor like eating gross eating challenge now throwback. We're yeah. And then Joe, we would love for you to be a a, a guest on Loser our, gets kicked in the chest by Joe Rogan. Yeah. Or loser has to go into it because he has his own a water tank thing. A uh, float tank. Yeah, float float t- float tank, uh, deprivation tank. The loser has to stay in there for twenty four hours straight. Oh my god! Do you know how crazy you would go being in one of those for twenty four hours? Oh, and then you would have to do ayahuasca while you're in there. Oh my goodness, that'd be insane, dude. That's a great challenge. What? D- deprivation tank. I would love to, to, do to that. see how long we could stay in the deprivation tank. That's a great challenge. And That's not, a great challenge. And not, and not tell the other person like when yeah, the other no, person when comes you're leaving. Out. That's actually a really good. I just thought of that. That's a good one. There's places. There's that, float tanks in LA. Yeah, maybe we could. That'd be amazing. But how do we rig it where you can see the camera on us when we're in there? Oh, GoPro. We could put a GoPro inside the tank. Could we though? Yeah, why not? Those are waterproof, aren't they? They take them in the water all the time, like surfers and scuba divers or whatnot. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That'd dude, be a good one, dude. Dude, okay, let's play this out. How long do you think you could last? I don't know. I've never been in one. Oh, you have? I've done it. You have? What does it feel like? It's, it, you're weightless. It's like you're in a, like a spaceship, like a fucking Does it feel like good on your back? Yeah, you don't feel anything. You're just like, but you know what? It is scary. Why? It's complete darkness what yeah you just feel like you're out in the abyss it's scary is that what they use well you don't well, no no i had a because they had like these emergency lights you could press something on the side where these neon up. blue purple things turned on light but i i need i couldn't have it because com- you could choose your preference did you choose pitch black i at first i thought i could do it but and I, it was I, too scary i couldn't even last like five minutes i was like uh nope it was too too much. Yeah, it was like a haunted. Yeah, it was just like petrifying. Yeah, that might freak me out. Oh, I I it definitely would. Yeah, but dude, did that, you see anything while you were in there? Did you have any? I like, didn't. I'm sure you could if because your you mind. Did you have any hallucinations or that that played tricks on you or anything? No, I try to clear my mind. I try. I I don't even know. I don't think I thought of anything. I I wasn't there in there for a long time. I maybe twenty twenty five. And Stranger Things, they. Use a float I'm not tank. caught up. I'm not caught up in I know, that at all. But they use a float tank, and man, there's some weird stuff that they see in those float tanks. Like, what do you mean? They hallucinate? Well, the character 11 is seeing things happen in a different area. So she, I don't think she's hallucinating as much as like she's an empath who's taking who's in things projecting from other into places. Yeah. Other dimensions. Other realms. Dimensions yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. yeah. Yeah, we got to make that happen. That'd be a good one. That'd be a really good one. Now, if you had a choice, like let's say you're a multi, 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 multi millionaire like Joe, and um, would you purchase something like a deprivation tank for your home? I'm first. I want to get an inversion table. <laughs> Do you know what that is? No. It just stretches you out. It does. It's the thing that that you you lock your ankles into, and yeah. then when you go upside down, it stretches your back out. Is it like a massage chair? Because I did that the air, at the airport in Houston. I put $5 in that thing. And I, dude, it was so relaxing. I almost felt, I almost missed my flight. I felt, dude, because it like, it, it like closed on your calf muscles and it did the whole thing. It worked from your calf muscles all Ooh. the way to the back of your neck. That sounds great. Yeah. So would you, if you had a choice, would you get, if this is if you're, if you're 800 million, if you had like whatever, hundreds of millions a, a personal basketball court, a deprivation tank, or would you get uh, the top of the line massage chair? Basketball court, easily. Yeah, those are wildly different prices. Basketball court is so expensive, dude. A personalized basketball court is so expensive. Isn't it just, just 
put down. No, the wood, the gold, well, I mean, the can't space. Can't you just do cement? Or? I mean, well, you're talking about super millionaires. It'd be an indoor court. How much is that? An indoor court's crazy. Like the ones they have at Twenty Four Hour Fitness, or like at a oh, gym. Oh, that's I mean a couple. I mean that's what that's it is, a right? Hundred grand. But that's what you would get, like an indoor was, court. Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. A full court. An indoor full court. That'd uh, be indoor crazy. A full court. That would be crazy. Would that be a, like a dream come true for you? Yeah. It would be a dream. Yeah. So if you had hundreds of millions of dollars, that's the first thing you would get is an indoor basketball court. Well, no, no. But what would the It'd first be on thing my you would list. Get, What would be the number one thing you would get? Hundreds of millions. Oh, probably my mom a house. Or pay okay. off her house. Okay, well, that's a given. I'm talking about for you. For me? For you. Well, first, it would probably be a pool table. Oh, that's right. You would get the top of the line pool table. I'd get a nice pool table. You'd get the pool ta- table over like the indoor swimming pool? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, not me. I would get like a wave pool. Oh, I wave would get a pool full would be on, crazy. I would get a full on. Were you surfing and yeah, stuff? Yeah, and there? then I would oh. like I would try to like I would try to learn. I would, you know, try to get someone to teach me how to surf in the wave pool. Did we do scissors? Did not. No, we did it. Did we do some scissors? Yeah. Do some wave scissors, like for the wave pool. One. Two, three, four. Surfing USA. Five. Inside, outside, USA. Eight. Nine. Inside, outside, USA. Ooh. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. I'd also have my own personal Starbucks at the bottom. Oh, so this is where like there's a, a barista there at all times. They have to live there. So you are imagining being richy rich. I, isn't it fun to kind of let your mind wander and fantasize? <laughs> what is that face? I don't know. I just love. You ever just fantasize? I just like to let my mind wander about things like that. You never know. I mean, what if someone like we keep doing Scissor Bros and someone really. So some rich investors like oh, I love I love ex- everything you guys do. Look, I'm gonna I'm we gonna want to take your I want to invest. I want to buy level. your show. Yeah, I mean yeah. I have you know I have a new uh, studio set up for you, and then um, a couple, you know it's like a million a pop. You too, right? They're a million a pop. Like, I want you to stay on board. You could be their producer, and then million like million like millions of dollars. You know what I mean? It could happen. It could happen. So you get a, a pool table. Okay. I'll get a wave pool. No, I would get no. Hold up. In inside Did I ever t- skate skate park. And I'll leave it at that. Oh, that's so expensive too. Dude, an inside skate park is more expensive than a basketball court, I'll tell you no, that. No, it isn't not a, a do it yourself. I'll hit up Andrew Nick my homie the homie Andrew Nicholas. I think I'll go, yo, dude, call up California Parks and Rec. Let's get it started. I'll buy the cement at home. Yeah, just tell me the zoning. That's so and the, expensive. No, 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 no. I could, Ryan, I, dude, I could do it on that's a budget. That's more expensive than a basketball. No, oh, no, no. I could like, do it on a budget. Like ten to twenty times more expensive. No, I could do it on a budget. I could do it on a budget. What? Go ahead. What was your thing? Remind me to tell you next episode because we're about to get in the challenge. Remind me to tell you. I'll make a note. Make a note right now of the story of of. Uh, of the equipment that was bought for Jeremiah Wonders. It's a crazy story. It's a crazy story. Equipment? Bought for Jeremiah Wonders. Oh, no. Why can't you say it now? Because it's it'll take too long. We're going to get into the challenge now. We're going to toss to the challenge live from Houston. We hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, half, you know, pseudo live episode slash like front live from the garage episode um but we're gonna end it with the challenge and that's how we ended the show in houston uh so we love you guys and let's cut to the challenge right here right now uh each team the team with the most points 
wins the challenge. Okay. Now, like Steve said, there's good and bad things of the balloons popping. You get a point per balloon that is popped, and that is decides on whoever has the most points. Their team wins. Mm -hmm. The losing team has, has to, to do, do a barber shop quartet. quartet. Let's go. On lose on purpose and sing about how awful they are. <laughs> So it's a it's a public shaming barbershop yes. quartet. Yeah. You want to go first? We'll go first. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay, great. Oh, I want green ones. Okay. okay, great. So each person on each team will go. Uh, it's it's we'll go back and forth. We're gonna stand at that crack right there. Shoot and scoop. Okay. All right. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! This is the twist. This is the twist. You have to do what's inside the balloon. That's the twist. Go ahead and read it. We're doing this. Yeah. We'll do it. At, we'll, I'll read it right after he goes. But I have ours for our team. And then Steve, collect his. Woo! Okay. 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 So this is a good one. This is one of the positive ones. Catch three Skittles in your mouth. <laughs> the person next to them throws it in the air. So you have to catch three Skittles in midair. I hope. I was hoping that wasn't the one because I, I left the Skittles in the back room. Oh, thank God. Yeah, go, gra oh, go, go grab them. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah, no, that's part of, that's part of the thing. Yeah, it's fun. It's hot Skittles, all right. What's your favorite kind of candy? Is it the wild berry Skittles at least, or is it the red pack? Because you gotta. Like, I, I like how she had just a second ago she's like, well, I don't want to do that. Well, is it wild berry or what are we? Because I don't even want to enter this phase if it's not wild berry. No, it's the OGs. It's the OGs. Okay, we're gonna count. You gotta get three in there, but let's start counting down, guys. Get some energy in here. Yeah. You have a question? Do you know the Heimlich? Just in case it like swoop and I catch it and I choke. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely do. I, I think, know the I, Heimlich. I think I do. I definitely. I can learn it. I can uh, learn it. I can Google it real quick. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, in five, four, four three, three, two, one. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. Okay. Skittles, 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 Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Skittles, Skittles. Two more. Taste the huh, rainbow. You gotta get three in the mouth. In the mouth. You, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch them. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. We'll clean up afterwards, guys. Uh, as far as the security will clean up. There you go. Get more loft. Get more yeah, get, loft. Get some loft in there. Oh! One down the hatchet, everyone. Yes, you got it. Faster, faster. Yes, two down the hatchet, everyone. That's two. One more. Yes. One more. You gotta oh. do three. Oh, sorry, sorry. Heck yeah. All right. Great job. Good and job, you get to keep job, those. Okay. Now, Steve, yeah. what did your teammate, what was the thing that popped on so, his balloon? So, Reverend, um, so, Reverend, yeah, I need you. Um, so, this one says, do a trust fall on stage. So, you have to trust your teammates. Trust you, the teammates. You, look at me. Do you trust us? Do you trust us? You let's go, guys. Let's, 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 let's have his back. Have you ever done a trust fall before? Uh, I fell forward one Dude, time and hit the ground. Fall, trust fall. Uh, Wait, do y'all realize we got two more darts left? So he has to have his eyes closed, right? Yeah, you have okay. eyes closed and... Uh, man, okay, we, so, this, is, this is really becoming a weird yeah, Christian church is, camp yeah, today. Yeah. This is like <laughs> church camp. This is like church camp. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, put the dart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you he just stabs his leg on the way down. You have to, you got to close your eyes and you got to completely completely and now if you if you if you stutter step at all, you got to reset. We got you. Brother. We got you. 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 In three, two, one. We got you. We got you. All the 
You good? Was that good? Did that count? Did that count, everyone? Yeah. Okay. That was good enough for me. Doesn't have to do that three times. I had to kiss no, two no, skittles. No, 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 no. Only the skittles you do three times. Only the skittles. It was written. No, no. Whatever's written on the yeah, on the thing. Paper. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Popped. This is gonna be close. Okay, oh, we'll read this in a second and, and grab one of your teammates. Okay, to... Kennedy, step to the front. You got this, Kennedy. Please. Oh, oh Kennedy. <laughs> Kiss a stranger's belly button. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Some of them are not good. Yeah. That's what we were trying to tell you. Some of them are weird. So you got to pick a stranger now and probably run it by your wife. Can it be a man at least? Can it be a man at least? Yeah. I mean, uh, sure. Why not? It could be me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I never thought that the person would be laying down. This makes it way more sensual than it needs to be. I was thinking it was going to be an innocent peck on a standing person, and Steve's like, all right, let's do this. Okay. Shout out to my wife, Ashley. She's the best. I love you so much. All right. Oh yeah, it's going down. All right, Steve, read I yours for Kennedy. Like that. Of course that you, of course you liked it. Give me fuzzy feelings. All right, Jonathan, you ready? Come on, for bro. Kennedy. I got. Oh, wait. oh, Kennedy. You gotta read. You gotta oh, read. Geez. Kennedy, Kennedy. Smell Stevie's breath two inches away. You, you gotta really breathe it in, dude. Ready? Come on. I need eye contact. You gotta get close. I need, I need eye contact. Come on. Too. No, I need eye contact. Get, make some eye noise contact. with Kennedy, guys. You ready? Big, big. Okay. Big and close. Big and close. I'm so sorry, Kennedy. Okay, what Kennedy. does it smell like? What does it smell like? It's not that bad, actually. Okay. There you go. And whenever you're ready, make some noise for Natalia, guys. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Clap it up, guys. Clap it up. Hey, That's Natalia. all right. It's all right. It's going to get, obviously, it's going to get harder yeah. the, the less this is going to be on the board. Okay, so next up is um, give it up for Jonathan. Team Stevie, Jonathan? Okay. All right. You read uh, go ahead and read okay. what's uh, what's on here. Get a free song sang by Scissor Bros. Oh, we have to serenade him? Yeah, we have yeah, to serenade him. Okay. Okay. Yes. And your name's Jonathan? Yeah. It is. Okay. Jonathan. <laughs> Oh, Jonathan, we love you. We want to bust a nut. We want to bust a nut. Because you know, and I know, I got a bubble butt. Jeremiah's anus is pink. I don't want you to think, and I don't want you to blink. I don't want your heart to sing Cause I love you Ooh, Cause I love you You bought my merch You were on a search You paid $42 for that sweatshirt And it means a lot to me My name is Stevie This is Jeremiah Watkins Watch a special called Daddy Daddy D-A-double-D-Y D-A-double-D-Y YouTube.com Slash Jeremiah Watkins Subscribe today We love Houston, Texas I hope y'all have a fantastic day We're here to serenade Alright, we love you uh, We love you, we love you I felt that in my soul oh, you did? Okay uh, What's the score? Okay, thank you. I'll just put Score is three to you okay. guys. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. You did. 
I know he did it. You did it to me, didn't you? Oh. Okay, let's see what I got to do. Oh my goodness. Play a game of gay chicken with Stevie. Did you write this one? It's my day now, huh? Tables turn. This is unbelievable. The wind changes. Out of all, out of all the balloons, of course, it's me that, that struck that one. You're good. Scared everyone. I don't know what you're talking about. His breath He's is scared. not that bad. That's crazy. That's well, crazy. What does it smell like? You gonna shame my breath? Come on. You wanna do round two on that? No, yeah. that's okay. okay. All right, who's next? Who's... Oh, that was so close. Come on, Reverend. Come on, Reverend. Oh. oh. Caleb. Okay, Caleb. It's 3-3 three, three right now. Where's Kennedy? Where's Kennedy? Kennedy's right here. Okay. Okay. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Oh! He nailed that one. Okay, for Caleb. What is going on? <gasps> Cut Stevie's pubes on stage? Yeah! It who, is my who, day. Who it has, is my day. Who has scissors? Who has scissors in here? Oh my goodness. Guys, make some noise for Caleb. This is crazy. I love you, Oh. Do you get it? I got them. Okay. That was disgusting. <laughs> I need some that hand was... sanitizer. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. What's the score, guys? Yeah. It's 4 4 at the moment. It's 4 4. It's 4 so 4. Who's next? Wait, what was the Kennedy's punishment? Oh. You keep trying to. Oh. He keeps, he keeps trying to. Kennedy, howl like a wolf as loud as you can. Okay. Caleb's like, I just cut another man's pubes and that guy howled like a wolf. That's not fair at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who is up next? Natalia. You're yeah. You're gonna get this one. Come on, Natalia. You're gonna get this you one. You got it. Natalia. Maybe aim for the top row. There's a, there's a bunch of them. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right, Jonathan's Come up. Come on, Jonathan, you got it. It is a race to five. We are 4-4 four, four right now. He could end this right now, right Jonathan, here. Jonathan, you could be the hero. This guy, Jonathan, I'm just saying, the there's hero. a lot of pressure on this. I'm just saying, there's a lot of pressure on this one. Oh! Oh! Wow. All right. It's 4-4. Four, no, four. I love you. No, you're it's 4-4. Four, four. It's 4-4. Four, four. You get a rebuttal if I hit this one, by the way. You, oh, and you will uh, it, hit it. I don't know. I think you will. Okay, back to the top. Come on, guys, let's start clapping. This is gonna be the last one. Oh, Reverend! That's okay. Reverend, this is your day, man. Let's start a slow clap, guys. Reverend, this is your day. We're at the chapel, brother. We're at the chapel, brother. It's your day. Bring it home, baby. 
Bring it home, baby! Oh, all right. Caleb, you could you oh, could do this. Caleb. You know, Caleb might do it, huh? Caleb might do guys, it. Guys, start the close, slow clap back up, guys. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Kennedy! Back to Kennedy. Oh my God! Behind the line. Behind the line. Kennedy! Kennedy! Well, Ru uh, Rudyard's is loving that we're throwing him into the wall now. All right, next up. Natalia, this is your moment. This could change oh everything. She's gonna win it. Natalia hasn't been on the board yet, but she's gonna get on the board right now. What do you guys think? Come on. <laughs> Steve, your team gets the rebuttal right now, brother. You get the rebuttal. We went first. You Jonathan, got the rebuttal. Please. Jonathan, please. Jonathan, please. You got it, awesome. brother. Uh, oh. Natalia has sealed it. If she agrees to do this thing right here, then we win. And it is. Oh. oh. Let a woman slap you across the face. <laughs> if you accept, we win. If you don't accept this, then, then we have to score one more point properly. So. You'll take one for the team? Let's go! Let's go! All right, you get to pick the woman. You get to pick the woman who's going to slap you. This is insane. I would have... Okay. All right, ladies. Ladies, this is a fair fight. Make sure... <laughs> All right, are you ready? Do it on this side. Okay, we, we need you to commit. Don't go crazy, but also we need you to commit. It's not this, it's not this. That's the, that's the thing. Nobody yell world star after this. Nobody do that. All right. Here we go. Guys, can we get a slow clap? And then we're going to do a hush so we can hear the clap. So your team, come on uh, back Jonathan, over. Reverend and Kennedy, you have to give one of them the mic and we'll share a mic. Um, so, no, it's okay. It's okay. All right, we're going to close the show with this right here, right now. Boom, boom, boom. Reverend, we need you. Okay, we so need you up on stage. You, you're Reverend, part, you you're part of the up. barbershop quartet that's going to sing about how... How, how we, we're losers? We yeah, lost? how you're losers. How we're losers. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. You want to... Wait, you guys want to share that mic? All right. Fuck! Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 I quit the 
pain. This is some <laughs> All right, thanks, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it up for Stevie's team. Give it up for my team. Hey, brother, can I get a picture? This has been Scissor Bros Live. Thank you so much for coming Thanks out, Houston. Coming we love out, you guys. Yo. We love y'all. Thanks. Have a great night. Good night, Houston. Have a good Thank night, you. Everyone. Scissor Brothers. Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and Hope you guys enjoyed this hybrid episode. Yeah, that challenge was pretty fucking fun. But I would have been able to pop those balloons way easier than those guys because I've been popping pussies for a long time. Armadillos, skunks, you know how I get it wet. Anyway, hope you're having a good week. And Steven put out a special Scissor Bros Houston vlog on his channel, so check out youtube.com slash Stevie Weeby, and then there's a new stand-up on the spot out now that I helped produce, but that fucker Jeremiah never gives me credit for. Anyway, hoping that I can crash with a live so soon, and uh, I'm drunk as shit right now, so I gotta go to bed. Love you guys. Bye! Steve wants to put his shrimp inside my white, white, white bread bowl. And it fit perfectly near the hole inside the bread. And I know it's pink too.